So ventilator basics. <laughs> so before starting the topic, you need to understand the difference between what is the difference between a normal patient who is breathing and the and the patient and the patient whom you have ventilated. In a normal patient, when there are two phases of uh, respiration, one is your inspiratory system, when your inspiration, the other one is expiration. So when you inspire, you inhale the air, and when you expire, you exhale the air. In a normal person, when you inspire, you expand the chest, you create a negative vacuum inside the chest so that the air gets sucked in. While when you give a positive pressure ventilation means you are blowing the air inside the lungs. So in during that inspiration, the air is blown with a positive pressure. Here you are creating a negative, a, a generating a negative pressure in normal circumstances to generate a pressure. While in ventilated patients, you create a positive pressure and blow the air into the lung for that. Expiration is a passive process both in your uh, spontaneous means normal breathing and also in um, uh, artificial ventilation. Also, just because this is a topic of ventilation, there are two terms, oxygenation and ventilation. So why we call it is a ventilator? You put an oxygen mask, but you don't call it call is a ventilate, uh, ventilation. You put a CPAP, but you don't call it is a ventilation. You call it continuous airway pressure. But as soon as you put a BiPAP, it is called an IV. And as soon as you put an invasive mechanical ventilation, you intubate the patient, you put call this a patient is on ventilator. By ventilator, we mean invasive ventilator in this session. Oxygenation is just providing the oxygenation, but ventilation means the exchange of carbon dioxide across your alveoli. There, there is the air, um, um, lung, uh, sorry, airway, and there are the alveoli. So whenever there you are assisting the process of inflation of the lung and deflation of the lung so that the carbon dioxide movement is uh, means uh, facilitated then that's why that's why you call is uh, ventilation so in niv bipap both inspiratory and expiratory phase is taken care of in ventilation invasive ventilation also inspiratory expiratory phase is taken care of sorry i'm taking tea because i need to be awake during the session because it's an intense session so that's the difference between normal and artificial ventilation. Lung anatomy. So when we talk about lung anatomy, we talk about one is the airway and the other is the alveoli. From airway, there is a you have a trachea, then your bifurcation of the left and right bronchus, then your bronchioles, then terminal bronchioles. Up to that is in the airway part. And below that is the <coughs> alveoli. So they, those um, constitute the parenchyma of the lung anatomy. Why this is important? Because when we uh, uh, discuss the details in advanced classes, we talk about resistance of the system and uh, compliance of the system. So by resistance, we what mean is what the airway is providing resistance to the uh, flow of air to the ventilator. It cannot expand, but it the tube provides a resistance due to its in, uh, lumen. While in parenchyma, we talk about the stretchability, the alveoli can stretch. So we talk about uh, compliance or elastance of this. So broadly, we classify that in airway and the parenchyma. One, com one constitute the resistance and the one constitute the, uh, what you call is, um, um, compliance or resistance of the system. Not very much important into this today's session, but I think you know. Now, everybody who is listening, I want you to focus because breath, understanding breath cycle is very, very important. So, in a single... Uh, okay, so before... Uh, okay, so this is how your uh, single breath cycle is. Is my mouse visible on the screen? The uh, no, sir. How yes, I... sir, it is, it is, it is. Huh? Yes, must... sir, I can see your, yes, sir. The cursor is there, sir. Car cursor is there, huh? So understand how a sing single breath is formed. You take inspiration, then there is stoppage of inspiration, then there is a pause, and then you exhale. So this completes a one respiration too. So something triggers the breath, the air goes in, there is stoppage of that uh, inspiration cycle, and then you exhale. So that's why 
this whole uh, process uh, when we put through the ventilator com consists of this thing one is your baseline your one is your baseline status means at the baseline patient is neutral then something happens and there is start of inspiration and then inspiration is maintained so something triggered the inspiration and the inspiration is maintained so this is the phase of inspiration and when at at certain point the ventilator uh, something happens in the ventilator and that at that time the inspiration stops and the air exhales mm. Exp uh, and inspiration and then this is the expiration phase and it returns to normal so this is how a breath cycle is completed something tells the ventilator that you need to uh, start the inspiration the inspiration is maintained during the breath is maintained then something tells the ventilator that you need to stop the inspiration and so that the air can exhale so this is the expiration phase and it returns to the baseline so this is one baseline respiration so terminology the thing which triggers the ventilator ki now you have to which tells the ventilator that you have to start the inspiration is called your trigger there are different types of trigger we'll understand and the thing which tells the ventilator you need to stop the inspiration so that the exhalation can take place is called cycle so these two terms are important the thing which tells the ventilator because ventilator is a machine it has got no mind it is an artificial machine something has something has to be told to the ventilator that now you need to give breath to the patient you need to start the inspiration so that is called your uh, trigger then at the end of inspiration something tells the ventilator that you need to stop the inspiration so that the exhalation which is a passive process can uh, follow so that is called cycle in between the trigger and the cycle there is a way in which the breath is delivered so there is a there is a pattern by which the ventilator delivers the breath to the patient so the type of breath which the patient deliver uh, which the ventilator delivers to the patient is called your target or limit for that cycle the quality of the breath which cycle so only three variables are there on which the whole ventilator game revolves around trigger target or limit means the quality of the pattern of breath which will ventilator will deliver and uh, cycle when the inspiration will end not the breath uh, end of uh, respiration it's the end of inspiration so that the exhalation can take a passive course so before jumping to the further we'll and those who are very new just for them what is how is the ventilator sort of machine so this is a ventilator at the back of the ventilator there are two three ports one is your oxygenation coming on the other is the air coming on so that they can be mixed uh, properly then you have machine you have certain controls on the ventilator you have some display screen on which there are certain uh, set parameters which you have set and then at the above is there a graph graphical representation of the breath which are, which is going on so this is a mechanical ventilator which blows the air now there is an inspiratory limb which goes towards the patient okay this is going and here it is connected to your endotracheal tube which is going into the patient trachea so endotracheal tube so this is the inspiratory limb which is going on and connected to endotracheal tube and then this there is an expiratory limb with by which the um, carbon dioxide comes back to the ventilator so these are the this is the way how the ventilator is connected so that was a graphical and this is the ventilator you see this is the one of them is inspiratory port which this is connected to artificial lung then another is expiratory port this is the graphical representation these are the controls the same way ventilator is there one one is coming towards the patient okay going through the endotracheal tube this is the suction catheter connected and the other one is uh, going back to the ventilator so this is the type of uh, machine which is there